Hi everyone, Jamie McQuaid from Magnet Forensics here with a quick video to help you get started using the new custom artifacts and artifact exchange features uh, with Magnet Axiom. Those of you who already use Axiom or um, Magnet IEF uh, understand that we take an artifacts first approach to our investigations uh, where we automatically pull the most common things you would normally look for in an investigation. So I've got a case open here in Axiom Process already. Um, just Axiom Process is open. I've got some evidence loaded in here and uh, just a computer and a phone and you can see we already support a number of different artifacts for both computer and mobile devices there's always quite a bit and this is constantly changing and supported in our tool um, but there's always going to be apps or artifacts that we don't support and so with the new custom artifacts we add some extensibility that you can actually create your own artifacts and add them to your case so the first time you investigate a particular app that uh, that's important to your investigation you'll have to do some digging and research and understand how it works but then you can build a custom artifact so the second third or fourth time that you look at it um, all that works already done for you and it will automatically be included in your next investigation there are two routes you can take when it comes to using or creating custom artifacts um, you can download somebody else's if somebody else in the forensic community has created an uh, an artifact that is of interest to you or something that you're using you can download their artifact and, and add it into magnet axiom or you can go the to creating your own uh, we have two avenues to take with that as well you can either create an XML or a Python based artifact and uh, I'll get into those in just a few moments but, but first let's go on to the artifact exchange and download our own so let me go to Chrome here those of you who are Axiom customers or IEF customers already you, you probably already have a customer portal account you can just log into there and get access to the artifact exchange um, just by logging in if you're not a customer or don't have an account you can register a new new account here and basically you just fill in some basic information hit submit and we'll give you an account uh, so that you can access these scripts as well once you're actually logged in and have an account created you'll see the uh, artifact exchange here that I've got loaded up now this is just a sample one we don't have the site live quite yet so um, you can see it's uh, it's a little different but the actual layout will be similar you can see I've got two test artifacts uh, already loaded in here I can click download um, to download either of those uh, I could view all the artifacts I could search for particular artifacts if there's an app that I'm uh, interested in not sure if it's on here you can run a quick search um, or you can also upload one that you've created so if you're going the route of creating your own I'd certainly suggest you uploading it um, and making it available to the community if you think something you think it's something that somebody else could uh, take advantage of so that's where you would upload this is where you would download and let's get into showing how to load those into um, axiom so let me go back to axiom here and we're on our artifacts but uh, we'll, we'll leave it on there now I'm not going to show you uh, step by step how to create one because it would be kind of a boring video and feel free to check out our blogs we're gonna have a number of blogs and resources that will help you create these artifacts um, like I said at the beginning you'll have two routes to take when you want to create a custom artifact you can either create an XML based one or a Python based one so if you've got uh, experience coding in Python already great you can load those scripts with very minimal changes uh, if you've got a Python script that already exists um, you need to hook it into our API but otherwise it's pretty straightforward and uh, the Python support is uh, is quite useful uh, we also have our own uh, XML based custom artifacts that you can create which are very simple to use and um, very easy especially if you're going to be creating artifacts based on SQLite databases or a custom carver in any way so let me show you what a couple of these look like we'll look at one uh, XML based one and one Python based one and load those into Axiom so um, I've got some custom artifacts over here so let me just drag this over and uh, we can see I've got a few folders here with some artifacts in it I'm going to use the for the XML based one I'm going to use Caesars, Caesars Total Rewards uh, app for Android um, I I use this app and I'm going to Vegas soon so I had some data for it so I created an artifact for it and you can see we've got some notes and, and that uh, really um, the database is here it's actually called reservations uh, on Android it gets backed up in a regular ADB backup so you should get it even if you do a quick acquisition with a, with an Android phone that has this app on it um, and here's the XML script that I've created so if I right click on here and I'm gonna open it with notepad plus plus and I'll bring that over here this is what a custom artifact will look like um, and like I said the XML ones are very simple uh, you can see uh, some basic information here 
about it. This is a SQLite database, that reservations uh, um, database here. Um, you can actually go in, pull the, the values out, and basically create fragments. Um, like I said, check out our blogs, and I'll, I'll go and in, we'll go into more detail to it. But this is what the artifact would look like. And you can see within this XML um, that I've created three artifacts, one for reservations, for hotel reservations, one for restaurant reservations, and one for show reservations, which are three uh, options available uh, in the Caesars Rewards app. Again, this might not be an app you ever come across an investigation, but if you do, I've created an artifact for it. So you can certainly just add it in there and download it and use it. The next artifact I'm gonna show you is a Python based one. So let me close that out and we go back to my custom artifacts. I actually have a, an artifact here for the, uh, another Android one, but this is for the usage history.xml file, which is found in a lot of Android devices. Um, very valuable artifact actually um, that we don't support in Axiom but can be really useful uh, in your investigation. Um, basically what it does is it has a source timestamps of um, usage history based on particular applications, first time it might have been run, the last time, uh, the, the last time you, you took a picture or opened the camera app. Uh, it varies for every single artifact. But if I open up my uh, Python script here, um, we can open it up with notepad plus plus take a look and we can scroll to the top here and we've got some very basic um, layout here and you can see if, if you're familiar with Python it's pretty straightforward we've done some specific things for uh, to hook into the API for uh, for axiom otherwise it's a straight-up uh, Python script that allows you to um, parse out XML files uh, and I'm parsing out this specifically the um, usage history XML file here so you can see there's some um, information there there's some information about the uh, artifact si signature block or anything like that so again very straightforward uh, easy to, to create um, check out our other resources we, our documentation and our blog should have a lot of help uh, if you want to create your own Python ones so we're gonna load these in so I'm gonna get rid of this go back to uh, axiom here I'm going to go in process, go to tools, manage custom artifacts. And you can see I've actually got a few of them already loaded in here. So I've got Android NuGet calls and NuGet accounts, some words with friends. Um, so I've already created some of these artifacts and they've already been loaded in, but I want to add a few more in here. I can add new custom artifact. I can point it to where my new custom artifacts are. So let me just go to uh, my desktop here and go to custom artifacts. And we can see we're in the same folder here. So let's do the uh, Android usage history XML one first. So I go into there, there's the Python script. I hit open, it'll read it and it gets added in here. So now we've got Android usage history um, as a new artifact that gets uh, loaded in. Uh, let's add the uh, Caesars Total Rewards one as well. Go to Custom Artifacts and Caesars Total Rewards. There's the XML file for it. Hit open and there it goes it gets loaded in here and you notice actually this one loaded in three artifacts so I only loaded one file but because we look through the reservations the restaurant reservations and the show reservations it loaded all of those in for me so um, a, again you might have multiple artifacts in a single file um, depending on the app or uh, what is supported for them but those all get loaded in there I can hit OK and now they get loaded in so you can see there's a, there's a new entry here for custom artifacts and there's all the custom artifacts that I have here now you can choose to leave these enabled or you can disable them on and use them on an ad hoc basis so if I want to uh, clear all these out and just wanted to do the Android usage history Caesars total rewards and and just that you can hit uh, leave it on there and then continue on to uh, process your evidence now, loading in uh, single artifacts that way is great, but what if you have a, a lot of artifacts to add in and you need to add in a bulk group of artifacts? Um, maybe you've downloaded all of them from the portal and just want to load them all in. You can also do that. Uh, basically, if you go to File Explorer and in Windows, and if you go to the, the default location for uh, a Magnet Axiom install is C Program Files, Magnet Forensics, Magnet Axiom, Axiom Process. If you go into the Plugins folder under Axiom Process, this is where all your custom artifacts get, get uh, stored. 
you can see we've got uh, all my custom artifacts I had, the usage history Python script, and the Caesars total rewards one here. So you can just dump all of the custom artifacts you want into this folder, and that way you don't have to load each one individually. So you have both options available. It just depends on if you've just got a single artifact, load it through the application. If not, go to this folder location, load it in there, uh, dump them all into this spot, and the next time you load it up, they'll all be there. So uh, both options are available. Okay, let's now take a look at what one of those custom artifacts looks like after we've processed and analyzed uh, some of the evidence. So I'm going to close down process here and open up examine, which is a case I've already completed here. And I've just ran the Android usage history Python script here. And you can see under custom, there's, there's a custom setting and you can see there's the Android usage history. So I can open that one up and there's the hits from the Android usage history XML file. Uh, so you can see there's a bunch of entries here. You've got application name, application activity, and a timestamp for it, which is exactly what I expect to see in the usage history XML. Um, here's a, let's see if I can find a good example here. There's one for uh, Facebook. Uh, the com Facebook Katana and you can see that this uh, act activity is Facebook login activity and you can see the timestamp so that shows the last time this user logged into Facebook on that device so you can see the date timestamp to it um, which can be really useful in uh, in a lot of investigations so that's everything I've got here uh, like I said there's gonna be a ton of different uh, custom artifacts available for you you have the option to create your own download someone else's and share your uh, that you might have created as well up on the uh, artifact exchange so um, hope that helps stay tuned for any other resources uh, that might help you on terms of blogs documentation um, that uh, can help you create your own custom artifacts thanks for watching bye bye